So how would you define a successful man? I think it's I think it's up to the man to define what success means for himself. You know, so if I'm working with a client that I'm, we're always coming back to what do you want? If he comes to me and he says, "Look, I I want to be this guy. I want to be I want to be a combination of this guy or that guy." I, I know we're off track because he's using some kind of an external uh, yardstick, so to speak. And most of the time, the real challenge for us is to get in touch with who we are and actually pay attention to ourselves and say, "Where do I feel most alive?" Where do I feel most expansive? Where do I feel really strong? And we can find that if we pay attention to that information, it's going to lead us into uncertainty. It's probably going to lead us away from this ideal that we have in our head about how we're supposed to act. And so I don't use the word success a lot um, it's just because it, it paints some picture that somehow your life needs to be m- much drastically different than where you are or, or that something's missing. A lot of times, like I said, it's more like archaeology. It's about getting rid of things. It's about letting go of stuff, letting go of limiting ideas and beliefs, and then living from the place that's, that's still there, that's most essential. 